Hi, welcome to my channel. It's a good thing that you've tuned in. And today I'm going to be sharing with us on how we can set up a site to site IPsec VPN. It's a small and simple lab I have set up here. I have three micro tick routers all connected. And then uh, our goal is to allow PC1 communicate with PC2 through an IPsec tunnel that we are to set up between router one and router two. Router three is serving as the internet gateway for us. And uh, right now, all I have configured are basic configurations, IP addresses, okay, for both the WAN and the LAN interface on router one, same thing on router two. I've also had NAT set up and I have a, a default route set up to forward traffic to a known destination to router three. The same thing here, um, we can uh, check now to just verify. We'll start off on router three to be sure that no uh, static route has been configured to box here that we are gonna be uh, trying to reach via our VPN tunnel. So I'm gonna log on to uh, router three and uh, I'm gonna say IP address, uh, I think uh, is print, okay, these are the the IP addresses that we have here configured, ETA1 connects to router one, and the ETA2 connects to uh, router two. Okay, um, let's check the route. We can see that there are no uh, routes here, no uh, uh, dynamic route or anything configured here. So the two networks that router uh, three knows about are uh, network 0.0, .0 slash 30 and 0 0.4 slash 30. Router 3 doesn't know about network 1.0 and network 2.0, which are these two networks. This is 2.0 and this is a 1.0. So I'm going to just uh, uh, log on to router 1 using Wimbos via PC1. Okay, so here I have PC1 here. As you can see, here is PC1. So I'm going to try to log on to router one here the ip address of router one i'm on pc one so i'm trying to access router one via windows so right here i'm on router one now okay and then i need to verify the ip addresses i have you can see that i have 0 0.1 slash 30 which is the one ip connect here is configured on ETA one this is the ip address that connects us to router three and then we have 1.1 slash 24 which connects to our LAN, okay? Uh, my, this PC, um, this PC, PC1 is giving one, okay? One dot two IP address. So we need to configure, uh, I've, just before then, let's go, let's uh, ensure, let's just confirm, I mean, that uh, PC1 cannot get to PC2, okay? IP config to see the IP address we can see the IP address on PC1 is 1.2. So let's confirm the IP on PC2, then uh, we, we should be. We can see the IP address on PC2 is 2.2. .2. So let's try to ping across to PC1. On my 2.168.1.2, you see destination network on which, okay? So I'm gonna head back to uh, PC1 now and uh, try to configure IPsec uh, VPN, okay? This is a uh, router one. So here on router one, we go to IP, and then we go to IPsec. The first thing we wanna do here is to set up a proposal, okay? We'll set up our proposal, and I'm gonna use call this proposal one, and uh, the authentication protocol I wanna use for this uh, VPN link is gonna be uh, uh, MD5. Okay, and I will be using a, a Camellia 128 for my encryption algorithm, okay? And then I'm gonna use a 1024 as my PFS group, apply and okay. So if I have done this, and then I'm gonna to go to my policies and try to set up a policy. So I'll add a policy here. Here I will put the the, the source uh, LAN 
connecting to router one, uh, which is 192.168.1.0. This is the network I want to be, I want uh, people, uh, users on the remote network to be able to access. So what is the IP address of the destination network? I want to be able to access this network is only 192.168.2.0 slash 24. So the action is gonna to be to encrypt it, set up a tunnel. The protocol is gonna use the IP set protocol is ESP. So I'm gonna put the uh, source one IP address of router one. So which is 192.168.0.1. And then the public IP on router two, might to one dot zero dot six. Before configuring uh, IPsec, it is very important to ensure that these IPs are reachable from both routers. If not, it will not be established. So I will choose the proposal I set up earlier. Okay, and I will apply and I'll okay it. So the next step is to configure uh, a pair. So here, under the general tab, I'm gonna put the remote IP address, okay? The remote IP, 192.168.0.6. This is the router I'm trying to pair with. And then I'm trying to pair with the router on this port number, okay? So uh, the authentication method is pre-shared key. And I'm just gonna say, put the, uh, the secret key here, okay? Then under the encryption tab, I will select uh, protocols that must match with what I chose when I was setting up my proposal. Okay, remember we use the uh, MD5 for authentication and uh, encryption was Camellia 128, okay? And my uh, uh, mode here, my group was MODP 1024. So I'm gonna apply and I'll okay it. Okay, and everything looks good from this uh, uh, point. So I will head over to router two and then try to set it up now. So, so on router two, I will repeat the steps IP and I'll go to IPsec and then I'll try to set up a, a proposal. Proposal one, you should use MD5 and then we are using a Camellia 128 and this is 1024. I will apply and I will okay it. Then I will come to policies and I will create a new policy here. So the source network here is going to be 192.168.2.0 slash 24. And then the remote network is going to be 192 dot one six eight dot one dot zero slash twenty four okay so the action here encrypt set up a tunnel and then I'll put the one IP on router two one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot six more like reverse of what I did on router one so I'll pull that of the remote router 192.168.0.1 and because I created a new proposal I'm not using the default so I'll choose the new proposal I created here I'll apply now okay and finally I'm gonna come to pair okay here I will add the IP address on router one and I'm pairing with it on port 500 and of course, the security. Then I'll go to encryption and make sure I chose the same thing as what I use while setting up my proposal. Okay, I'll apply and now okay. Okay, right now we see that we have a an established uh, IP sec tunnel. So let's see if we'll be able to run a ping across from router two to 
router one to from PC two to PC one, sorry. Okay, we we'll see it is saying destination network unreachable, even though we have this uh, IP sector now already set up. So one thing could be responsible for this, which is not. We need to ex exempt the land to land communication from NAT. So how do we do that? We we'll go to IP, we we'll go to firewall, and we we'll come to NAT here. I will create a new uh, rule. Okay, under the general tab, we we'll leave it as source NAT, and then on from on on this place we are going to put the source network one nine two dot one six eight dot. Since we are on router two is two dot zero slash twenty four destined to network. 192.168.1.0 slash 24, which is the network connected to router one. Okay, the action here should be to accept it. After you've done this, make sure you drag it before the uh, uh, firewall, the, the masquerade group. I will repeat the same thing on a uh, router uh, one. Okay, here is router one. We'll go to uh, IP firewall and then we'll create a, a new natural source network is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and the destination network is 192.168.2.0 slash 24 and the action should be to accept it like that do not masquerade so we'll drag it here okay so now that we've done this, let's see if we will be able to ping our course. One or two. Right now you see we are able to ping our course. Okay. We are on PC2 and we are able to get to PC1 over the IP sector now. So right here, we can check IP, IPsec, and you'll see that the tunnel has been established. Okay, so look at it, established. So that's it, guys. Uh, please subscribe to this channel and turn up uh, post notifications to get uh, notifications on my post. Also, visit my blog at www.timigate.com. Timigate is spelled T-I-M-I-G-A-T-E.com.